Mohammed Subhi Mansour and his family left Syria five years ago. His house in Aleppo was demolished during the bombings. When they first came to Gaziantep, his 14-year-old son died in a traffic accident. A month ago, he lost his other son, who had joined the Free Syrian Army to fight ISIL. Now, Mohammed wants to move the rest of his family to Europe. Turkey does the best, but the number of refugees is so high. There are less refugees in Europe, and these countries have better financial conditions. Germany welcomed the highest numbers of refugees compared to other European countries. With Turkey, it pioneered a refugee readmission deal with the EU. The German representative in Turkey says the two countries have more to work on. It's about what does it mean for Germany, what does it mean for Turkey. So that means friendship in the first one, that means talking, uh, means understanding, to grow understanding. And of course, I think the biggest issue both countries have together, uh, besides the European issue, is to fight terrorism. Mustafa Yeneroğlu, an MP from the AK Party, says the refugee issue is a part of European countries' domestic policies, but that Germany and Turkey still need each other. There are three million Turks living in Germany and it is our important trade partner. We are integrated to the EU in a multi-dimensional way. That's why the EU's future is a particular concern for Turkey's political stability and prosperity. According to the refugee deal, the EU has to pay 6 billion euros to Turkey, which has already spent about 25 billion dollars for Syrian refugees. Here we are in the heart of Turkey, the capital Ankara. Many of the Syrians we met here seem to be settled. They have shops, they even have a neighborhood. Although Chancellor Merkel's visit is to discuss ways to stop the refugee influx into Europe and how Turkey will keep them here, some of them still say they want to go to European countries. Mohammed and his family carry on trying to make a normal life for themselves here. However, they still hope there is a future for them in Europe. Sinem Kosolo, Al Jazeera, Ankara.